So welcome to the first ever YouTube live stream that I've ever done for the Captain's Vlog. And the Captain's Vlog is back. We're on a boat, we're on the River Yare, and we're heading into Norwich on Jester, which is a day boat that we've hired from Freeling Boating Holidays, which run out of Thorpe. And we're just coming under the railway line um, into Thorpe Island area. So I'm gonna switch the video around Obviously this video is going out live, but uh, it will obviously be saved as a video. I'll just duck for the bridge. So completely different to Facebook live streaming. And here we are, the Rush Cutters, which has undergone uh, quite the extensive uh, refurbishment program. And I've been in there since they have, but it was nice before. I'm sure it's even nicer now. Lovely food and drink in there. Just come through the bridge as you can see we're at high tide so there's just about six foot clearance we're in a day boat which is fine but if you've got a boat and you've hired a boat perhaps and uh, usually it will pass under Roxham Bridge then it should pass under I'm not on my phone I'm, I'm on lady's phone which operates on the EE network finding out that perhaps EE isn't the best network but we're back on apparently we have 4G so hopefully uh, the broadcast is still running this is all new to me I've never done um, ready okay sorry just realized there's chat that is going live as well this is very interesting so uh, yes this is the beautiful Thorpe Green uh, moorings um, and of course I must just point out I think we're back again. He isn't playing ball. Yes, I know. I use O2, which is surprisingly good. Uh, we've missed out a load of, of, of nice boats here. Uh, really lovely community of uh, liverboards along here. And what a vista they have. I think it's a beautiful stretch, especially at night. They have all the lights on. Um, very little explored. Most boaters can't pass under those bridges and pass by on the main river but I attempted to do a live stream but um, we just haven't got enough bandwidth it keeps um, buffering so here is our uh, person politically correct How are you doing, Sheila? Another day boat. We did a live stream before for the, uh, yeah, well, there we go. That says it all, doesn't it, really? Um, on a day boat from Roxham Launchire. And today we're on Jester, which we've uh, hired from Freedom at Thorpe. And uh, look at it. It's a lovely little, sweet little boat. Nice seating here, nice and comfy, especially when your lady's on the helm. Uh, it's got a nice smooth beater engine. It's got a heater. So even if it's out of season and it's a little bit chilly, you've got heating. But today it's absolutely glorious weather. This is bloody comfortable, I must say. And that there is a very nice pub as well. Nice food in there. My only criticism of that pub, it's a little bit pricey. It's like a bit like London prices. There's a sunken wooden boat that's been there, obviously. I think that's an estate agent. <laughs> the lesser spotted estate agent. Isn't this absolutely beautiful though? That scene with the weeping willows. And it's such a shame that so many people who come boating on, on the Norfolk Broads generally head to the Northern Rivers, even if it's just for a day out on a day boat. And they go from Roxham, past Roxham Broad, Sow House, 
up to Horning, maybe they stop there or they go to Morthouse Broad and go to Ramworth. And that's lovely, but it's not quite this, is it? Let's be honest. Some beautiful riverside properties coming up here. Look at this tree. Simply amazing. And yet, down here, it's quiet, idyllic, crystal clear waters. Oh, I can even zoom in. Can't do that on a Facebook video. There is, however, a lot of weed. So um, you've got to check and make sure that your uh, your weed strainer is not blocking up. So always keep an eye on your, your temperature gauges. And uh, also, if you start to get vibrations um, when you're going along, and you maybe picked up a load of weed around the prop, a couple of forward and a stern, forward and a stern, will probably clear the worst of that off of the prop. So this is the footbridge, and look at that for a property there. Amazing. Thorpe Pool. Yep. Look at that swimming pool. Next door to it is a modern No, no, no. Thorpe hasn't got a pool. It's just someone who is lucky enough to have their own private pool in their garden. That is when you've arrived in life. <laughs> so we're coming up to the, uh, the next bridge. And as you can see, it's lower than the first. So it's always a good thing that if you can get under the first one, at high water it's not necessarily a foregone conclusion you get under this one this is oh i probably it's just oh under six foot it's probably about five foot ten freak the hell out if a train came hurtling across the air in a moment. And there we are back onto the main river. And here's uh, Richardson's hire crew as well. probably not going to be able to film all the way into Norwich because uh, we've we've got no battery bank with us and um, Sheila's quite precious about her back alive again. So really peculiar that I've got full 4G coverage and yet I haven't got enough actual upload speed to keep the stream going. So anyway yes let's talk about what's going on. We've just come away from Thorpe which is just down there. If you were heading that way and you uh, didn't come towards Norwich you'd come to places like uh, the ferry house at Surlingham, um, Bremerton, um, further on from there you're going to have Brundle etc. And obviously down here we're on the air heading in towards Norwich. Whitlingham moorings here, BA controlled free, 24 hours. Magnifique. With the huge radar mast that serves 
it seems now as a uh, place to put a TV aerial on the top of. The place I've never actually been to is just behind there, which is the, the broad that isn't accessible from the river. It used to be a big gravel pits. And then as we come along here, the river Yare yeah, actually heads off over in this direction. And this mighty wide deep river, once it heads up there, quickly narrows and becomes much more shallow. And the swan has got, you can do it, there we go. Anyway, um, and, and we come onto the Wensum, which is the river that actually heads through the centre of Norwich. And over here, believe it or not, if you look on Google Images, there used to be a huge power station. Uh, and it's reasonably recent history that that was there. Um, and it's all gone now. And there's all sorts of ideas and plans to redevelop the site, which haven't really come to anything. Uh, the river here, a massive power station. So it's one of my wishes um, to actually take a dinghy down here and see uh, how far we get um, up the river Yeah, before it becomes, you know, too shallow and narrow. I think, you know, dinghy is about as small as I go because if you try and get me into a kayak or something, it will just sink. It'll be like, whoa, you're too big. So of course, recent history, since I was last down here in a boat, the Coleman Mustard slash Brickvick factory um, has ceased output, which is this big building here. And that basically brings to an end, as far as I'm aware, actual riverside manufacturing in Norwich. So from once a very large, rich port city we now are left with nothing. Although in my lifetime um, there was the, the coasted They, they probably did. I mean, Coleman's, let's face it, they don't just do mustard. They do mint and, you know, horseradish. And, oh, there goes a the train. Those trains won't be around for long. The old, uh, are they the class 91s or the 90s? One of the two, but they're being phased out by the end of the year. Um, just like all the 125s are slowly going. They've all gone off of their southwestern services out of Paddington and with everything progress new modern trains they tend to squeak more when they break and the seats get less comfortable Yeah, effectively the power station would have been covering all of this here. And you can see here, this isn't the first swing bridge uh, that was here. There was an original one before this. And unfortunately, you probably can't see through the undergrowth, the original pier where that was. We'll, we'll see.
Oh, there is one of the new trains. Although that's just the uh, local service, not the London trains. But they will look very similar to those. Another weird fact is they don't have the cables for the overhead lines on the bridge. They're solid metal rails for the pickup. modern apartments going up you see for people that want to live in boxes made out of basically insulation fiberboard and aluminium when you see how they're put together these days oh look there's actual bricks how rare <laughs> actually looked at buying one of these flats just coming up on the right here and then realized actually on the one side you've got a car park and a football stadium and on the other side you've got this so it's not exactly an idyllic riverside location interesting I just to suspect that this is a new cladding going on in these buildings and these certainly aren't new these have been around for a while and I wonder if this new cladding is um, a, a change as a result of the Grenfell tragedy that happened it's funny how when architects design these buildings and then actual human needs coming you know close areas the bikes the seating etc and then there's something far more in keeping which is taking an original building and converting it into apartments in a more tasteful style rather than just knocking it down and starting over all again So, here we are, the first road bridge. I find these peculiar, these signs. I thought they were like Toy Town. It is Cheetah's Mobile I'm using, and you know there's often questions posed, what network's the best one for data on the broads? And everybody says, oh, use this, use this. I think we can fairly safely say, if you're using EE, maybe it's not the best one for data. Um, although Sheila's blessed with 
Hold on a minute. How many gigabytes of data have you got? Yeah, 100 gigabytes of data. I get three gigabytes. But there we go. I'm with O2 because I'm a fool. <laughs> I've been with O2 because they were the first network to offer the iPhone. Um, I've just been lazy and never changed. Put up with paying for very little data allowance. Is it clunky? All right, yeah. sold riverside site for 41 dwellings so more boxes to go up there I've not ever seen any fast river works before, always slow. I think we're having a good time, so I've, I must do this because I'm just... Seeing... So yeah, I'm having a great time on just uh, the Freedom Day boat. great opportunity to come into the centre of a city from a completely different perspective. TGI Fridays, Coast to Coast, Pizza Hut, they never make use of any of this. It's, it's such a shame. Now, most places you go where there's a river or a canal and there's like, you know, the usual chains and stuff they always face this way to the river but not so much here but sometimes in life things just get too much you have to take a break so a familiar sight for many people the yacht station is now coming up Sheila said, why don't we buy this and run a business from it? I said, it's gone a bit too far. Imagine what that must be like underneath the waterline.
odd recommendation, but the Nelson Pub restaurant doesn't look anything from the outside, but they've got a wide and varied menu, and I must admit, it's not too bad for the food. So if you're visiting the yacht station, you might like to give that a go. I can't say so much about the Premula. Uh, that's had a, quite a lot of money spent on it. So that's looking a lot nicer inside now. Here is the yacht station, of course. This is a wonderful little riverside walk along here and then you can follow it all the way around. It has a little tuck in, easy to get off into the uh, cathedral area there. Classic Seamaster 30. Quite sure why, but I have a soft spot for these boats. They don't seem to have aged too badly. They still look quite modern and quite aggressive. A couple of uh, two and a half litre BMC diesel engines. Most of them anyway. Very capable hull design that. So yeah. Ah, oh, Commander. It's come a long way from Stalin. So it's been half an hour guys. I think I've used up enough battery and data. Uh, we're gonna just head down to Bishop's Bridge and turn. But uh, very impromptu we didn't plan any of this literally as ever with our lives um, but it's nice to try a YouTube live stream for once uh, opinions on this it's more complicated than a live stream on Facebook um, but at least you've got the option of watching this back I think it's just gonna go straight on my channel afterwards so I uh, can thoroughly recommend seriously maybe you know you're on holiday from Stalham, you don't want to cruise all the way down here. Get a train from Roxham, you can get a bus from Roxham, you can get a cab, they're about 12 to 13 quid from Gold Star or courtesy taxis in Norwich uh, to come into the beautiful city of Norwich. There is the cathedral there. And maybe if you want to come down on the river, go to Thorpe Bungalow Lane, is Freedom. Uh, obviously, they've got a website. Uh, freedom boating holidays if you google that and they don't just do day boats they do picnic boats and obviously you know full-size cruisers so uh, really good little team down there so that's what we decided to do on the off chance headed down there and here we are on their little sweet day boat jester so thanks for watching if you have been it's time for us to turn around <laughs>